Oh, would you look at that? Oh, I'm going to do a runner without paying. Welcome to London, one of the most expensive places on the entire planet. Now in this video, I'm going to be taking you on a mega, huge, massive budget food tour of London, featuring only the most traditional and cheap options that I could get my hands on, starting in Victoria. Let's go. There's no better place to start this video than in a greasy spoon calf eating a lovely traditional English breakfast. And I think I know just the spot. Also, I hope you guys are enjoying this little mini London series that I've got going for you. If you are, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Right, here we are guys, Regency calf. Looks very packed. Let's have a little look. Cool, you gotta wait to have a seat in, my God. Oh, look at this place guys. Hello, right, can I just get the set breakfast deal with beans, tea and toast, please? Uh, no sugar, thank you very much. Here we go, we've got a lovely cup of Rosie. 8.95 for that breakfast, a little bit pricey, but you know what, it's central London. Right, here we are, guys. We've got two bacon, we've got eggs, we've got a bit of sausage, and we've got loads and loads of beans, and some lovely buttered toast. Two slices, absolutely amazing. Got to add salt and pepper on the breakfast, of course. Oh my God, this looks absolutely incredible. Jeez. Right, here we go. Oh, it's got me cutlery. Probably gonna need these, aren't I? Right, here we go. Let's have a look at the yolk. Oh, look at that. Perfect and runny, right. Let's have a little bit of bacon first. Dip it in the yolk. Oh, look at that. Bit of beans too. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. That is amazing, right. Let's give the sausage a go. Oh my God. Oh. Mm. oh my god. Mm. I cannot tell you how fresh and delicious this is. Mm. 8 95 as well. Not too bad to be honest. Not too bad. For central London, that's alright. I've seen prices upwards of £10, which is ridiculous, but 8 95 not that great, but for London, pretty decent. Oh my God, that sausage is so good. Mm. Just a bit of tea to wash it down. Oh, that is a great cup of tea as well. Oh man, you literally can't beat an English breakfast. You genuinely can't. It's one of the best meals in the entire world, for real. Tell you what as well, guys. I mean, I've eaten most of it already, but the portion size, portion size was decent. Guys, this calf has been open since 1946. Literally nearly 80 years they've been serving the Londoners here. And you can tell, it just looks so traditional in here. Honestly, I absolutely love it. No better place to go in central London for a little English breakfast than Regency Calf. Lovely stuff. Mm. And don't forget, once you've eaten the meal, guys, you've got to do it traditionally, right? You've got to get the bread or the toast and you've got to mop up all of them juices. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. Wow. Cheers. Right. I'm gonna do a runner without paying. Ha 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 ha. Nah, only joking guys. I paid at the start. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, guys, I am absolutely stuffed. That was an incredible breakfast. To be honest, as I said, 8 95 usually I'd think that's pretty pricey. But to be honest, for central London, it's really not that bad. Like I've seen a lot worse in central London, believe you me. Now I always hear people say that London is so expensive and whilst I partially agree, you just gotta know where to look, just like everywhere, but don't worry. You got me on the case, mate, at your service. Also quickly guys, just before I forget, I wanna know, where do you guys wanna see me travel to next? Cause obviously I've been to Las Vegas, I've been to New York, Barcelona, Amsterdam. Where do you think that I should go next? The comment with the most likes, I'll go to that country. How about that? Right guys, we're on a mission. We're on a journey to our next destination. And I thought I'd take you through the scenic route past Buckingham Palace. So the next place that we're going to is Mayfair. Now I know what you're thinking, Mayfair? That's the most expensive property on the Monopoly board. It's not gonna be cheap round there. Oi, when you know, you know. There we are guys, Buckingham Palace. Literally a five minute walk from Victoria Station. Now if you're following the trail of this video, you gotta go there. If you're coming here as a tourist or whatever, you need to go to Buckingham Palace. If you're following the trail of this video, you might as well. It's literally on the way. You know what, guys? Every single time I'm around this area, I just feel uplifted. I just feel like, I feel good. I feel positive. And to be honest, I'm not even the biggest royalist or anything like that at all, but I do like English traditions and values and history. That's what I do like. 
So guys, the reason that I'm taking you to Mayfair next is there's a place there that does an absolutely spiffing scotch egg. Now, if you don't know what a scotch egg is, it's basically a boiled egg with a runny yolk covered in sausage and then battered and deep fried. Yeah, sounds pretty meh. Sounds pretty mid, doesn't it? Pfft, it's not, trust me. And the park that I'm currently taking you through now, well, technically it's two parks joined onto each other. You've got St. James's Park that we're in right now, and we're gonna be walking through to Hyde Park but they're basically just one park split between the middle. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's about a 30 second walk from one to the other. Sorry, that was a bit of a mistake. You've got Green Park, St. James's Park and Hyde Park. I completely forgot about Green Park, I don't know how, but literally they're pretty much one big park. And do you know what I really can't stand is when people tell you not to go to London because it's so dangerous. Listen, yeah, there's dangerous parts of every city in pretty much every single country in the world. If you come to central London, you are not gonna be in any danger. Let me tell you that this is literally one of the most policed areas in the whole of the world let alone the whole of Europe or the UK you're not gonna have any problems obviously there are parts of London you shouldn't go to if you're a tourist coming to London you ain't gonna be going to these places are you just keep your wits about you don't be silly and just keep to the tourist areas you are gonna have no problems whatsoever it's literally one of the safest places in the whole world don't listen to the news don't listen to the media most of the problems and the danger are just people trying to kill each other not just random tourists Oh, okay. Right, here we are, guys. Piccolo Bar. Never been here before, so yeah. Let's see what it's like. Ooh, here we go. Thanks for that, buddy. Ooh, see you later. We've got a nice little selection. Cool, the scotch eggs look massive. Yes, please. Can I have it, darling? Hello, you're right. Can I just get one scotch egg, please? Hot or cold? Uh, hot, please. Any master? Uh, no, that's all right, thank you. Anything else, That's you? it, thank you. Please. Lovely. By cash? Uh, no, by cash, please, thank okay. you. Lovely, thank, thank you very you, much. Darling. Cheers, have a great day, thank you. Oh, nice, hot, fresh Scotch egg. Mate, £2.50, what an absolute bargain. I told you guys, I get the bargains in for you. You're welcome. Right, guys, here we go. We've got the classic British Scotch egg. Let's give it a go. £2.50, shout out to Piccolo's in the background. Mate, for the size of it, two fifty in London, that is nothing. Right, let's give this a go. Mmm, oh my god. Oh my god, that sausage meat. So usually, the egg is runny, this one's hard, but you know, it's still not bad. And this is only one half. Like, there's another half in here. For £2.50, that is not bad at all. And you know what as well? They're absolutely lovely in there. Mate, honestly, look at the size of that. I mean, the Scotch eggs you get in the supermarket are like, literally, that big. And they're just rubbish, processed garbage, do you know what I mean? This is just nice, fresh, hot food. Well, that was absolutely delicious. What an absolute bargain as well. Shout out to Piccolo's in Mayfair. Mate, you can't go wrong if you want a quick snack a quick little pick-me-up, literally £2.50. Right guys, my sweet tooth is coming out to play. All of that savoury food is now making me crave some lovely sweetness. So, we're off to one of the most visited places by tourists in all of London, and that is, obviously, Camden. And then we're gonna get a lovely traditional English apple crumble with custard, literally one of my favorite desserts in the whole entire world. But now we're gonna walk to Green Park Station. We're gonna get the Victoria line to Euston. And then we're gonna get the Northern line from Euston. It's about a 15, 20 minute journey and it's very easy. I'm keeping it very efficient for you guys. So you can just go from place to place like I am without going back and forward. Do you know what I mean? Right, here we are guys, Camden. What you wanna do when you get to Camden, right, is come out the station, walk past all of the tourist trap little stalls where they're selling like five strawberries for a tenner. Absolute rip off, mate. Just walk a little bit further down to the market until you see the bridge that says Camden Lock. And then you'll see this, you'll see Camden Lock Bridge. Once you're here, you're going the right direction. Just keep going straight under the bridge. And then once you get to this sign that says Camden Market, you're going in the right direction. You're getting warmer. Now let me show you what this amazing place is. And then here we are, guys. Humble crumble. So this is what we're after, guys. The most popular crumble with custard. Seven quid. You know what? I'm not gonna get too upset because that's just London prices. Right, let's go, let's order here. Right. Classic apple crumble, there we go. Oh, cinnamon as well, not bad, not bad. Uh, yeah, we'll eat it now. There we go. Oh yeah, gotta get custard, of course. Right. Tip, bloody hell. What is it, America? Hi. Lovely, thank you very much. Oof, guys, would you look at that? 
Look at that, mate. Oh my goodness. Right, here we are, guys. We've got the apple crumble and custard. This is literally dripping everywhere. It's gonna be so messy, but oh my God, look at that lovely thick custard as well. Oh, mate, seven quid, it better be good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Nah, forget any other crumble I've ever had in my life. This is the best crumble I've ever had already. I'm one bite in, oh my God. Mmm. Oh my God. I've never had apple crumble with cinnamon. It is literally an essential from now on for me. My God, that is great. Oh. Mmm. Guys, I'm telling you right now, if you've never tried an apple crumble with custard, you're missing out. Jesus. Jesus. That is, honestly, that is insane. I cannot stop eating this. Mmm. Mmm. Custard is a little bit hit or miss when you get it from places sometimes. Tastes a bit gloopy and a bit, you know, tame and not flavorful. This is full of vanilla, full of love, mate. Oh my God, oh, I'm literally gonna eat this whole thing. Oh my word. Guys, honestly, that might be one of the best desserts I've ever had in London. In fact, in my life, genuinely, that was oh, superb. Right, guys, if you've made it this far into the video, make sure you subscribe. Right, on to the next place. Right, guys, I'm done with Camden now. Get me out of this tourist trap hellhole. Honestly, it's absolutely ridiculous. Doesn't matter what time of day you come, it's absolutely heaving with people. So yeah, just bear that in mind if you're coming to Camden. So now, we're off to London Bridge to go get a lovely Victoria sponge, the most famous cake in Britain. Let's go. One Northern Line tube all the way there. Easy peasy. Right, here we are guys, London Bridge. Now, let's go and get our Vicky sponge cake. Oh, I can taste it already. Right, here we are guys, Hayes Galleria, right near London Bridge. And this is what we're after. Oh, here it is right here. Sink sandwiches and patisseries. Lovely stuff. Let's go get a Vicky sponge, shall we? Where's the entrance? Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is exactly what we're after. Just uh, one of the Victoria sponge, please, mate. Thank you. Lovely, thank you very much, mate. Look at that. Lovely, thank you very much, mate. Oh, look at that, guys. Lovely Vicky sponge. Listen here, yeah? If you've never had a Vicky sponge, mate, you got to have a Vicky sponge, I'm telling you. It's literally delicious. Oh, would you look at that, guys. Absolutely incredible. Let's test if it's soft or not. Oh, it's very soft. It's very soft and spongy. So, we've got a lovely, double layered sandwich of sponge cake. And then we've got some cream, vanilla cream in the middle, and then jam, and a little bit of icing sugar on the top. I'm not gonna lie, Victoria sponges are probably one of my favorite cakes of all time. Maybe even my favorite, so let's go. This was £2.50. Yeah, two fifty. so let's go. Let's give it a go. Mmm. 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 Oh my God. Oh my God. What a treat for such a small price as well. Oh man, that cream is so delicious and sweet, but not sickly. See, this is the thing with cake. It's so easy just to go ham and go overboard with the sweetness. But my God, this is the perfect ratio. Oh. Mmm. Wowza. Mm -mm. Not a bad size as well, to be honest. 250, very, very reasonable. Also, shout out to the walkie-talkie in the background. If you haven't come to London, mate, what are you doing? Guys, honestly, the River Thames is just absolutely gorgeous, man. Look at these views. You've got the HMS Belfast here, and then in the background, we've got Tower Bridge as well. Mate, so scenic, honestly. It's just such a vibe being in London in the sunshine. It really is. Right, guys, I've had a lot of sweetness in the last hour or so. Now, I wanna get back to the old savory food. But first, let me show you a little trick, right? You see this right here? You see this lovely looking bridge right here? That's Tower Bridge, right? Now, if you wanna get some amazing pictures with no tourists in, let me show you where to get them. And this is a little, little secret, eh? Just between me and you, yeah? <laughs> so when you see Tower Bridge here, and you see the walkie-talkie building here, right? This is what you do. You go down this way. Let me show you, yeah? Let me show you, right? You go through this little alcove right here. You go past the vault until you get to Shad Thames, right? You'll see this to your right, and you'll see this little entrance. Now you go up here, and then look at this. Look at this. A lovely little private view of Tower Bridge. Lovely stuff.
Right guys, next we're off somewhere with incredible history and incredible tradition and very, very important to London. That is the oldest surviving pie and mash shop to ever exist. It was literally opened in the 1800s. I think it was 1892. The first ever surviving pie and mash shop that's still open to this day. And I'm actually quite ashamed to say that this is gonna be my first ever pie and mash in a shop, in a pie and mashery. I've made it at home, but I've never gone out to eat it. I'm missing out and I've never tried liquor as well. I've always had it with gravy. So today I'm gonna eat it with liquor. Let's give it a go, eh? Right, here we are guys, M. Manzes. Here we go, look at this. Look at the history of that. So they were an ice cream shop before in the late 1800s. Right, let's go get a lovely little pie and mash. First time ever. Okay. Okay, 5.95, one pie, one mash. That's all right. I think the liquor's extra as well, but you know what? Yeah, we'll go for that. Hello, you're right. Could I just get one pie and mash and liquor, please? Uh, nah, I'm alright, thank you. Um, about 20 minutes, 10 minutes ago? Lovely, thank you very much. There you go, cheers. Oh, look at this, guys. Oh my god. Oh, let's go get the cutlery. Oh, look at that, mate. Look at that. We got the one pie, we got the one mash, and we got the liquor. I don't know what, I'm sure liquor is like a, like a fish sauce, which is weird to have it with meat, but who knows. Anyway, look at this. They've even got t-shirts. Absolutely lovely. Right, let's tuck right into this. Lovely bit of savory, okay. Right, let's just tuck in. Just let's get straight in. Oh, look at that. It's literally oozing out the side. Never had this before in my life. Well, pie mash and liquor. I've had pie mash and gravy and that's delicious, but home cooked, I just don't think you could get it as good as a pie mash shop, do you know what I mean? Right, let's go for a bit of this. And a bit of that, a bit of this and a bit of that, mate. Right, first impressions. Let's go, let's get a bit of meat on the inside of that pie as well. Oof. Right, cheers. Mmm, oh wow, mmm. That is absolutely delicious. Oh my God, I can't believe I've never tried liquor before. That is honestly so good. Oh, so rich in flavor. That pastry on the pie, man, oh, so crispy. You know when you make a soggy pie in the microwave or like some shop-bought microwave pie, or even an oven pie sometimes just comes out so sloppy and just, yeah, not great. Anyway, oof. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mate, you can tell that this place is well over a hundred years old. You know what I mean? Professionals, mate. They got their craft on lock. Lovely stuff. Mm. So let me just show you what's actually inside this rice. So we've got the mash, we've got the liquor, and then we've got some beef inside that pie. I think it's beef anyway. Pretty sure it's beef. Looks and tastes like beef, so I think it is. Oh, man, this mash is so creamy as well. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, man. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to finish this, especially with all the food I've eaten today. My God, such a great portion. Mate, six quid. Bargain, mate. Absolute bargain. Mmm. Mate, just look how old school this place looks as well. Absolutely amazing. Just proper British, man. I love it. I love that these traditional places are still running. Imagine if they were all just extinct. How depressing would that be? Love it. England, England, England. <laughs> Honestly, guys, this is so filling. Genuinely, if you're in London, right, get yourself down to Manzies in Bermondsey. It's about a 15-minute walk from London Bridge. Maybe 17 minute if you're a bit of a slow walker, but yeah, absolutely worth every penny. Thank you very much, cheers, thank you. Oh, guys, my God, I cannot explain how absolutely delicious that was. What a traditional bit of British scram. Don't you love it? And if you're enjoying this video so far, why haven't you liked it yet? And why have you not subscribed? See, these are the questions that you need to ask yourself. So I'm gonna walk back to London Bridge, I'm gonna get the Jubilee Line to Waterloo, and then I'm gonna change and get the Northern Line to Good Street. And that is where we will be trying the cheapest fish and chips in the whole of London and I'm very excited. Right here we are guys, Good Street. Now let's go and find this bloody cheap fish and chips eh? Apparently it's only like six quid or something like that which for central London is like unheard of but I think it ends in like half an hour. I think it's like a lunch deal, 12 to 5 or something like that. Last time I looked it was anyway. Hopefully they've still got that deal on because I've got about 20 minutes to make that so yeah hopefully I make it. Right, here we are guys, Gigs Fish and Chips, here we are. 
850. Thought it was 650, a little bit more than I thought, but to be honest, for central London, that's good. Anything under a tenner in central is decent, to be honest with you. Here we are, guys. Top 10 places to eat fish and chips in London. <laughs> Don't mind if I don't. Go on, mate, can I just get the 850 small fish and chips deal, please? Lovely, thank you very much. Oh, 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 look at that, boy. Oh my God, this is gonna get absolutely demolished, mate. Oh, would you look at that? Right, here we are, guys. Giggs' is fish and chips, mate, £8.50. Shout out to Giggs in the background right there, right? Let's go for a chippy chip chip first. Okay, gotta have the chip first. We're actually, like, we're very open because- Mmm, oh my God, oh my goodness. Mmm, nah. Nah, shut up. Shut up. That is banging. Oh my God. Let's go for the fish now. It better live up to the hype. Right. Let's have a bit of fish and a bit of chip in one bite. How about that? How does that sound? Right, here we go. Oh. Mm. Oh, whatever, mate. Whatever. Nah, man. Nah. No. 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 How can fish be that good from a chipper's? Oh my goodness. Oh my God. How have I never tried this before? Nah. £8.50, are you joking, mate? Taste-wise, that is worth double, 100%. Oh my goody good God. Mate, those chips are just sublime. Like, honestly, perfect. You know when you get fish and chips sometimes and the batter's all oily and just overly crispy and just literally gives you a stomachache as soon as you eat it, mate. This is top tier. This actually genuinely is the best fish and chips I've ever tried. No exaggeration. Literally the best. Mmm. Oh my God. Nah, seriously. I'm in awe. I'm actually in awe. I'm definitely coming back here, 100%. Top 10, mate, this should be number one fish and chips for that price as well. Nah, man. Nah, seriously. I need to go and have a word with them, right? Because that is rude. How dare you? How dare you beat other fish and chip shops in London by that much? By that much of a margin? How dare you be that much better than them? Jesus, that is rude. With every one of these that they sell, they are literally widening the gap between them and any other fish and chip shop in London. Seriously, oh my goodness. Nah, nah, honestly. Mmm. And I've eaten a lot today, and I can literally smash this, it's so good. That is quite literally fish and chip heaven. To be honest with you guys, I would recommend this more than anything else in this entire video. Like everything else, I'd recommend, but this, this is like an essential. If you come to London, you must try this. Come from Monday to Saturday, from 12 to 5 p.m., mate, you get it for seven, no, eight pound 50. What a bargain, mate. You're not gonna find fish and chips cheaper than this, let alone this quality and cheaper than this. Let me tell you that for nut. That is so good that genuinely, I think I'm gonna have to tell him. I think I have to actually go and tell him that this is the best fish and chips I've ever had in my life. It's, it's that good, I have to tell him. Mate, honestly, I'm telling you that was the best fish and chips I've ever had in my, like genuinely, not even in London, in my whole life. That like number one, I've told everyone watching the video to come here and try it, it's that good, honestly. Thank you, that was great, honestly. Oh. Right guys, I can't eat any more food today. Honestly, I'll literally explode if I eat another bite. So if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.